Good morning, everybody. How are you? I hope that you're well. Sure, it's been a, I say good morning. It's been such a busy morning for me that I haven't uh, kind of registered the time passing. Um, please excuse the chipped, cracked mug, but it was a gift to me from uh, from some very decent Christian conservatives in uh, Tennessee. Uh, in fact, the political cesspool show. And uh, I haven't found the heart to get rid of it yet. It lingers in my cupboards and I tend to prefer to choose it. Anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, so much going on. One ha hardly, hardly knows where to start. Um, but here's something that really got my goat. This is a report um, from about three weeks ago. Or oh, even a little bit longer, 25 days ago. Let me try and bring it up here for you. Uh, am I doing the right thing? Yeah, I think I am. Uh, let's just see if it brings up. Oh, no. Just give me a second. There we go. Okay, so this was on Microsoft News. Um <clears throat> actually by eyewitness news a silent genocide activists angered after fourth i don't even know what all that stuff stands for lgbtqia plus murder in two months i'm not even going to bother speculating on what all of that means but uh here we go so so this girl was murdered Presuming, I don't know, maybe she's, uh, we're not supposed to say she's a girl. She's something. A silent genocide. That's how activists have labeled hate crimes against members of the LGBTQIA plus community. A silent genocide. In the latest in incident, a woman was killed in Kayalicha last weekend. I'll just take you back to the top. The uh, date... Of publication of this was the 6th of May 25 days ago as I said by I've never seen that name before Greg Greg Lee not Craig Lee not Greg 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 Lee Smith anyway uh, <clears throat> Pelogaz in Ndwana was stabbed to death police confirmed that a man was arrested for Ndwana's murder. This is the fourth homophobic attack in less than two months in South Africa. Spamandla Kosa was murdered in KwaZulu Natal in March. Just two weeks later, the body of Andil Ntutela was found in a shallow grave in the backyard of the person accused of the killing. Last month, Lonwabo Jack was stabbed to death on his birthday in Cape Town. The Gay and Lesbian Alliance of South Africa's Frank Gazu is outraged. It is mostly hate and discrimination. It is also hate speech that is perpetuated by some of us on social media platforms. Okay. Uh, uh, all right. So now I want to take you to something else. I'm going to close that tab. And what should come up is, right, the Politics Web article, which we have addressed previously in our videos, Saiglonda videos, uh, on the AfriForum statistics for farm murders in 2020. Now, let's establish some baselines here. It's generally understood that the, the farm murders recorded are of whites. Um, nobody knows for sure, I'm sure that the Afri Forum guys do, whether they are all whites or mostly whites. But in previous years, I've read the lists of the murdered people on the farms, and I've only ever once come across a name that appeared not to be white. Now, of course, Afrikaans speaking colors may have Afrikaans names. Fair enough. 
But it seems pretty safe to say that the overwhelming majority of murdered farmers are white. And we know that the number of farmers in South Africa, uh, white farmers, white commercial farmers, we're talking strictly about commercial farmers, is give or take 25,000. And the total number of all farmers, commercial farmers, is uh, approximately 33,000. Right. We know that the number of people in South Africa, according to the government, is about 60 million. And I believe, I could be mistaken, but I believe that it's the Kinsey report uh, that claims uh, that the number of homosexuals, of non-straight people, is approximately 10%. Okay. So, if we say that there's 60 million people in South Africa, and 6 million of them are, I don't know what's the right word, gay, homosexual, lesbian, what have you, the 10% of them are uh, of that uh, description, then we're talking about four murders in two months out of six million people, which would make it, if we were to use uh, that article, which is suggestive that there's a quite a spate, there has been a spate over two months, if, therefore it's probably not unfair to say, all right, we can extrapolate that to um we can extrapolate that over 12 months to times 6 24 people right so 24 gay people being murdered a year for being gay lesbian whatever 24 out of 6 million <clears throat> let's do i've got my calculator here oh it's just gone on the blink there we go Okay, so one in every 250,000 is murdered a year. One in every 250,000. <clears throat> Let's have a look at uh, what this article tells us of the farm murders in 2020. It says here at the top... Let's just bring it up for you. All right, there were 63 farm murders recorded in 2020. And this is up from 45 in 2019. All right. We scroll down. They give us all sorts of uh, interesting information. But the thing that I'm looking for is the... It talks here about, you can look this up yourself, politics web, forward slash documents, forward slash farm attack and murder statistics for 2020. You'll find it easily. Um, right. The occupation of the victim, and you can see it there, in 66% of the cases, it is the farmer himself. In 26% of the cases, it's the family, it's a family or visitor. Uh, and in 8% of the cases, farm workers. So we're talking now just about the owner slash farmer. 66% of 63 farm murders. Okay. So 63 times 66 uh, percent is 41.58. 41 now, obviously, 58% of a person was not killed. Uh, so we have to round that off to make a full natural person. So it is safe to say that there were 42 farmers killed last year. Now, there are two ways of going about this. We could take a bit of a shortcut and say that 40 Safely, safely 40 were white of 25,000 white farmers. Or we could say 
42 of all black, white, colored Indian commercial farmers, <clears throat> namely, uh, or numbering, 33,000. So let's do that. Let's, let's be conservative. Let's give the benefit of the doubt. Uh, we divide 33,000 divided by, oh, my 33,000 divided by 40, uh, 42 equals 1 in 785. And these guys call the murder of gays uh, a, 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 a genocide. I don't remember the exact words and I've, I've closed the tab thinking that I wouldn't go back there. You might remember what I said. They are talking in terms of genocide. When one in 250,000 people gets murdered for their sexual identity. But when one in 785.71, call it 786 people is murdered for their occupation or their race. And we know that many farm murders are motivated by race. It's not a genocide. Once and for all, ladies and gentlemen, we must begin to talk boldly in truthful terms about what is going on in this country. We need to establish an accurate and reliable narrative that is conducted in terms of an agreed lexicon, an agreed uh, uh, nomenclature, an agreed um, language. And we need to start talking about this stuff more and more and more and more. And that's my job. In your cases, it's far more difficult to do it. You don't have access to the media. You don't have access to foreign governments. You don't have access to um, uh, interviews and so on. <clears throat> Oops. The screen in the background. Um, yeah. I thought I would just cover that. I saw that information and it nearly drove me berserk to see how they were talking about the murder of gay people when they won't talk about the murder of farmers. They're wicked. They're wicked. But God willing, our day is coming. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. If you did like the video, uh, just give the thumbs up. It's helpful to us. It's not that we're looking for praise and uh, slaps on the back and so on. But it strengthens us when we get a high proportion of likes. We'd appreciate that help. Thank you very much. Goodbye and God bless you. Take good care of yourselves. Bye-bye.